placing bombs in the Last of Us factions can be a vast world of strategy to learn. This video will attempt to expand your knowledge and fill in any gaps of information about them by providing you with some offensive strategies, defensive strategies, commonly successful drop locations, and other miscellaneous tips. Generally, nail bombs are best used as mines instead of as grenades. That's not to say a bomb is a bad grenade, but the success rate of a thrown bomb is tantamount to how alert or organized the opposing team is. In my experience, thrown bombs work best early in the match before anyone has a chance to purchase armor, or while a team is unsuspectingly huddled around a supply box. Using a bomb in these situations can yield better results than a claymore since your team should be taking advantage of a successful bomb throw by cleaning up the resulting mess. Unfortunately, a failed or foolish attempt will only alert the enemy team and cause undue hardship on yours. In conflict, if you suspect your impending doom, immediately dropping a bomb can mean the difference between getting executed, interrogated, or allowing your team to clean up the mess that's left behind by your bomb. After all, if anyone's gonna execute you, it might as well be you. That said, make sure whenever you drop your bomb, it's concealed and you weren't spotted in their pursuit. Sometimes it's best just to stop, drop, and run. A concealed bomb during a retreat should down any chasing attackers. If you're down, crawl on top of it until you get executed. It's important to keep in mind that bombs you drop don't inflict friendly fire on your teammates. This also means dropping bombs defensively makes you more vulnerable, because if the enemy retaliates with one of their projectiles, it could set off your bomb inconveniently downing or executing you in the process. Placing bombs as traps is my most recommended way of use. Technically, anywhere on the map is fair game for a bomb drop. I can't tell you how many times I've seen players get downed or executed from a completely randomly placed bomb. Although I don't recommend just dropping bombs like jovial farts in a vacant lot. But hey, if it works. The best places to drop bombs are behind windows, in supply boxes, within brush, or next to doorways. The idea is to inconspicuously place bombs in areas players generally travel. Outsmarting players' routine to check for bombs is a chess game that you have to gauge by being unconventional. Here's some common drop locations. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Set the boat, watch your ass! Boom! Set the boat, watch your ass! Boom! Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set. Watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass. Set the bolt, watch your ass. Set the bolt, watch your ass. Set the bolt, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Set the boat, watch your ass. Set the boat, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! 
Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom. Here's some unique drop locations. Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. Boom. Bomb set, watch your ass. What's your ass? Set the boat. What's your ass? Set the boat. What's your ass? Set the boat. What's your ass? Watch your ass! Boom! 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 Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Boom! Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Bomb set, watch your ass! Bombs are obviously affected by gravity, therefore bombs placed in supply boxes on uneven terrain will awkwardly roll out. Players have frames of animation that still activate dropped bombs while jumping over windows, walls, and while opening supply boxes, which is what makes these locations commonly successful. Bombs and Molotovs can be shot out of the air only after it's left the player's hand, but not while aiming it, if you're bold enough to try. It's generally best to trip a located enemy bomb without shooting it, unless you have a silenced weapon, so as not to alert the enemy team of your immediate location. Double stacking bombs causes a larger explosion radius, and an immediate execution, even on players with armor equipped. Phew, that was a ton of information about bombs, over 10 minutes worth. I know how hard it is for viewers to stick with a video for that long, so for being such a patient and phenomenal viewer, you get a little reward. Here's some lines that goofed up and silly things that happened while recording. This video will attempt to expand your knowledge and fill in any In my experience, thrown bombs work best early in a match fucking fuck. Using a bomb in these situations can yield a better res- can yield a better result? What the f- 
using a bomb in these situations can yield better results than a claymore since their team should be taking advantage of it. Why do they pause? A concealed bomb during a retreat should sh should sh <laughs> This also means dropping bombs defensively makes you more vulnerable because the enemy retali- if, if the enemy, if, there's an if there. Although I don't recommend just dropping bombs like a f f f fuck. 